When you walked out, she yes. said, she said, I was immediately furious to see such blatant disrespect and racism in my workplace. She referred to you talking about creating a unified nation, said, yet you come out with hate speech like that. I mean, she describes you as the racism poster girl. How do you respond to that? <laughs> I think she's a racist and boaster girl. I really do. You know, what comes out of her mouth, no one criticises her. What I've had to endure over the past 26 years for my standing up and bringing to, to, to the point of informing people what is happening to our country, as Jacinda Price said... She knows that I care about the Aboriginal people. She's seen with the Aboriginal people. I've travelled to these communities. I actually understand the Aboriginal people. They don't want what's been thrown That's at them That's or rammed down right. their throats You're by these right. activists. You're and they right. don't care about the voice to parliament. No. They don't care about no. the, the Aboriginal flag. Mm. There is an agenda here, Alan. If I can tell you, viewers, there is an agenda here. So this is the chance for Australians to vote down the voice to parliament. You know what? I was reading this today, what Albanese has put out. Just, just listen to the third one here. The parliament shall, subject to this constitution, have power to make laws with respect to the composition, functions, powers and procedures of the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander voice. Powers. That means that they will totally control it. We had ADSIC, Alan. I spoke about it in my maiden speech. Eight years later, both sides of parliament got rid of ADSIC. It was a failed organisation, the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Commission, it cost at the time $2.2 billion. They were paying out $360 a day travelling allowance and $380 a day um, sitting allowance. This is going to be made up at Marcia Langdon. When I spoke to her, she said, you're going to have from a region 36 people possibly on per region and that's a voice to parliament. We have a voice now. We have this a voice. is nothing but, but what a about, takeover uh, of destroying well, our Well, what about Lydia Thorpe today, to our viewers, let me t say, she branded the Queen today a coloniser and she was called on to take the oath of allegiance, which is mandatory for all parliamentarians. She stood and walked to the front of the chamber with her fist raised and she kept reading the oath saying, quote, I, Sovereign Lydia Thorpe, do solemnly and sincerely swear that I'll be faithful and I bear true allegiance to the colonising Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. And she said that she became a senator with the intention to infiltrate the Senate and that, quote, colonisation of this country is coming to an end. Now, Pauline, if you or I had carried on like that, all hell would break loose. What sanctions yep. apply to Lydia Thorpe? Well, absolutely nothing. And Sue Lyons did nothing but told her to read what was on the piece of paper. Actually, I, you know, if I was the president there, I said, right, out of here. You have not shown respect to this chamber. People, even parliamentarians myself, we have to gain the respect of the public. The position itself as senator must be a position of respect, the, the, the word senator. If you lose that, she is losing that from this parliament. I don't respect her. I have no time for her. She is divisive. She's a nasty piece of works. She shouldn't be on the floor of parliament. Now, I say to anyone in Victoria who has any standing, who is actually on the role in Victoria, please challenge her validity to actually take up her position in parliament because she has said she's infiltrated it. She doesn't respect the Queen. She doesn't respect her position. She doesn't respect the parliament. I'd like it to be challenged.